Dante's Boxing Nation here. Hey, I'm here with my homeboy, Ladarius Miller, man. I, I gotta apologize to my homeboy, man. I went to the bathroom, and by the time I came out the bathroom, his fight was over, man. He put the dude away, like, in what? Like, what, 10 seconds? Yeah, yeah. Man, tell us about the fight, man. Tell us, you know, you know what you did in less, you know, in less than 30 seconds, man. Well, uh, man, you know, um, I had a game plan going into the fight. I knew I was fighting a veteran guy. Uh, I think he had over 24 knockouts. I only got 20 fights. So, like I said, I knew he had more knockouts than I had fights. And um, my coach just saw that the guy was shifting to my left hand. So he told me, you know, lead with my hook and uh, follow up with my left. And, you know, I did that. We worked on it in the back before we going out to the fight. And I, I actually threw the combination and it just landed like picture perfect. It landed right on the chin. And, you know, he went down from there and, you know, he couldn't recover. Hey, let me ask you something, Ladarius. Is it important for an up-and-coming boxer and the guy that's trying to, you know, make waves in boxing to, like, get those type of knockouts? Or do you want to try to put on a boxing clinic where you box, show your skills, and show people what you can do? Or it's more important for you to get these get these knockouts, man? I, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I think if, if you're a fighter that, you know, can, can skillfully beat an opponent, the, um, the, the whole... 8, 10, 12 rounds, then, you know, that's always good. If you are a fighter that can, um, everybody loves knockouts, so it's always good to get a knockout, but, you know, I definitely think it's a little bit of both, you know. Like I said, when you, um, when you get, every fighter has that um, mentality to where, where every fighter teams tells them, you know, anytime you get somebody hurt, you know, take them out. So, you know, don't leave it in the, in the judge's hand. And that's one of those situations where it was going on tonight. I didn't want to leave it in the judge's hand. I knew that I knew I had the skill to outbox the guy for 10 rounds, but I got him hurt, you know, within the first um, 30 seconds of the fight, so I went ahead and took him out. Yeah, Ladarius, I mean, I got to ask you about that. That's that's funny that you brought that up about leaving it to the judges. I mean, is, is, is boxing to a certain extent like a – a popularity contest because you look at some of the decisions that get made you know I hollered at you about the Adrian Broner decision and do you feel like it's too many politics and boxes do you it think it, it definitely is definitely a, it's definitely a popularity sometimes it can be a popularity contest you know where they might feel like they can make more money you know you never know you, you, the judges might lean towards the guy who's more popular you know the judge might be like you know everybody likes this guy so we're gonna lean towards him well you know it's, it's hard to say in this sport man it's just like you know when you're a fighter you really just want to go out there and you know you want to go out there and give it your all no matter what you go out there and give it your all you know you always want the fair decision whether you win or lose you want the fair decision so I mean, it definitely kind of sucks when we get those fights where, you know, half of the world feel like one, most of the people watching the fight feel like, you know, one guy won, and then you get the, um, you know, another decision, you know. So, like I said, like back when we was talking about the Pacquiao AB fight, like I said, it's definitely, you know, I think it's definitely a lot of um, political things, but, you know, that come, come with the sport. And, you know, we've been knowing that since we uh, started boxing. Do you think it is this thing, Ladarius, to I, I got to ask you because I know you're going you gonna to be as real as possible. Do you think to a certain degree, man, you, there's this thing that kind of like sort of pushed the, the good black boxers to the back to the back burner, you know, because they, you know, they got Lomachenko, they got the Eastern European fighters. And, do you feel like, to a certain degree, that's what they're trying to do? Because I, I just find it amazing that Lomachenko is considered number one pound for pound with less than 16 well, fights. Ryan, you know, we call a spade a spade. We know what it is. You know, um, to be honest, you know, you know, it's not about race, but you can't deny the fact that you know black fighters has dominated the sport of boxing for so long. So, you know, when they see somebody like Lomachenko, you know, he's, the skills, the skill set that he that he has, and you know, you know, um, it's, it's, it's gonna be they're gonna gravitate to that because, like you said, when you have, you know, we, 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 you know, we basically know what it is, man. Like I said, it's not, I, I feel the same way. You know, how can you how can you have somebody uh, Lomachenko pound for pound over a Terence Crawford, a guy who's undefeated, who's fought? I think Terence Crawford has fought. 
who's, who's um, fought, you know, world champions, you know, unified in the big, unify his division and everything. So, I mean, like I said, I definitely um, think it's a, you know, they, they, I definitely think they, they want to, they got, they got that face who they want to promote and push out there as the, as the face of boxing. But, you know, we know what it is, man. Hey, what's next for you, man? I mean, you really got rid of that dude. It's like, are you like, damn, I trained for this shit? And it's like... Yeah, yeah well, I mean, what's next, what's next for me? Um, I'm trying to get uh, Javier Fortuna. That's a um, fight you really want? Yeah, yeah, that's a fight I want. He fought tonight. He fought my stable, mate. You know, it was a good fight. You know, two Sharif O'Gara, two tough competitors. You know, I think that'll be a nice step up for me. It's the next guy um, in line. I think it's a, um, it's a fight that, that can, that's very possible and, and it can be made. You know, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not no fighter who's going to sit up here and call out names of fights that I know can't be made. Like, I'm not going to call out a top-ranked fighter when I know top-ranked and Mayweather promotion is going to do business to you know? So, I mean, at least from what I see. So, you know, if I'm going to call out, like I said, Javier Fortuna is going um, Next up, I, I think if we can get that fight, I'm going to take it. You know, really, any other top guys in 135, man, anybody at 135 can get it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't turn down nothing but my collar. Okay, what did you think of Tank's performance tonight? Um, I think he did good. You know, Tank went in there and done what he was supposed to do with um, with the, with, 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 um, the fighter he, he was giving. You know, like I said, that was... Um, it was a it was a last minute fight for on um, the guy you know a lot of people think oh it's easy for a guy to just be training for one guy for eight weeks and then something happening and then something happened and all of a sudden you get a whole different opponent so you know sometimes it's tough on the fighters who've been training for for a certain guy the whole time for the fight so I think Tank one and did good he got the guy out of there within on um, the first minute. You know, um, it was a good crowd. You know, he did, he did what he was supposed to do. He kept his, uh, he kept, he boosted his stock. He made his stock go up even more. All right, man. One last question, because I know you got to get up out of here. It's hell late. Uh, give us your take, man, on Daniel Jacobs and Canelo. How you see that fight turning um, out? I think I think it's gonna be a good fight, man. I'm leaning more towards Danny because Danny has the power. Danny, um, Danny. A lot of people thought Danny. The fight with Danny and Triple G, a lot of people thought Danny won, you know, and a lot of people thought Canelo won. Canelo lost the first time he, he fought Triple G. So I'm going to go with uh, Danny. I think Danny is the bigger fighter. Uh, he might not be the fastest, but I definitely think he's the stronger fighter. So uh, I'm excited to see the fight. I'm excited to see uh, Danny get another opportunity to uh, be world champion again. All right, man. Thank you for talking to Dante's Boxing Nation. Hey, Ladaris, tell everybody how to find you, man. Your social media accounts. Plug everything. Uh, you can uh, follow me on Instagram at Ladarius underscore Miller. Um, on Instagram and on Twitter is Ladarius underscore Miller also. And you can uh, follow me on Facebook at Ladarius Miller. All right. We out.